So, obviously, whatever business you're going to be in, you're going to need one thing, which is cash flow, all right? And let me just get most of the things so we can actually play the game properly. There we go. Putting in all the ingredients so that we can actually play the really good game. I'm hoping that I find you well. My name is Prosper Taruvinga. And I'm the founder and CEO of Live Long Digital. That is bringing to you live this episode of the Lunch and Learn, where we're going to talk about how to actually get the right kind of customers that will pay you, customers that you enjoy working with, and customers that will actually feed your bottom line. Like I said, my name is Prosper Tarubinga, founder and CEO of Live Long Digital, and I'm the creator of the online prosperity blueprint. Your four-step system to actually getting leads that convert. And um, I'm also the leading online prosperity strategist. So I can see a few people, Paul, Dominic, and um, Hester are tuning in. Thank you so much for taking your time out of the day. The next 30 minutes are going to be probably the best 30 minutes ever as we're talking about how to actually get leads into your business, how to actually get cash flow, and how to actually make money with the people that you're bringing into your business. All right. So the last couple of days I've been talking about um, the last couple of days I've been talking about, first of all, how to actually brand yourself and put yourself in the limelight in such a way that people get to know, like, and trust you. But knowing that you are here and you're watching this video right now, I want to respect your time and I want to cut to the chase and give you the 12 things that I'm actually doing as a business person to get you to watch this video, to get other people to actually convert. And I'm also going to be telling you the tricks and strategies that I'm using to get and, um, you know, um, um, the, the clients that we have in our business so far. So just so that you have a brief outline of what my business actually entails, I help coaches, consultants, and other small service providers to market scale and brand a business that's profitable and enjoyable, okay? So there's the coaching wing, and then there's the done-for-you services like your SEO, Facebook ads, and AdWords that actually then help them to, you know, market scale and grow their business, all right? So no matter what your business model might be, if you want to tell me, just type it in the comments so that I know um, how I can actually help help you by helping you live online like this, you are always going to need and you're always going to want one single thing. And I know it's going to be a steady flow of clients and customers. All right. I know that that's the reason why you're in business so that you can create and relate to your customers so that you can actually get money from those customers or cash flow like the game that I was playing when we started this video. Okay. So this is there's really, this is really the most important thing that will help you scale and grow any business, whether offline or online, okay? The more clients you're going to get, the more successful your business is going to be, and the more, and, and we all know that without any clients, you actually do not have a business, all right? So, um, Dominic says, so you do already what I want to do. Well, obviously, man. Uh, it depends what it is that you want to do. So we could always have a chat a little bit later. And, you know, there are always ways of building your business. You might, you know, go it, go at it through, you know, the fast, easy tricks that everybody's selling online. Or you can actually do a step-by-step -step approach to make sure that these clients are consistent. These clients are the right kind of people you want to work with. And these clients are the right kind of people that are ready they are willing and able to actually pay you for your services, okay? The biggest problem is if you notice, if you're amongst my friends right now, in my newsfeed, I put up a question a little bit earlier on, as in, what do you do and who actually cares, all right? And a lot of people were coming in telling me their job description. Now, customers want to know what's in it for them. Customers want to know how are you going to help them. All right. People don't want to know your fancy job title. People don't want to know your fancy, um, you know, ways of how you you do your work or the processes. They want to know what's in it for them. All right. And the only way you can actually get them to understand is either through content or 
you're actually doing videos and live sessions like this so in this video if you hang in there i'm going to be walking you through all the stages and the processes of how you are actually watching this video and how i robbed you in to my world okay so you know some coaches or some consultants have this problem they're bringing in people um first of all it starts off with a crappy facebook ad all right so you think these people that you're bringing in they're qualified Second of all, they just steal your precious time that you could have been selling, spending with your time, with your, with your family. You know what I mean? And, 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 and then there's nothing more frustrating than, you know, spending that much money onto Facebook advertising and booking somebody to have a strategy session with you only to realize that they're just a tire kicker. Only to realize that they're not qualified. Only to realize that they don't actually have a business. Or for my instance, the, 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 the only to realize that they are actually just in an MLM, which I absolutely hate, by the way. OK, so that person would have taken in, you know, one to two hours of away from your family. That person would have taken away your fun or whatever it is that you actually enjoy doing. OK, so if you haven't targeted that person correctly, you haven't informed them and you haven't qualified or pre-qualified them before you even get to speak to them, that person will ma ma magically waste your time or they're just a tire kicker. All right. So you got to, you know, start from the targeting. Second of all, what content you're putting out there. And third of all, how are you relating and creating for those people so that they actually know who you are, what you do and what you can do for them. All right. Nice to see you here, Tyler. All right. So, I've, um, you know, I've crafted, you know, a simple step by step way to actually generate leads and how I am doing it in my business currently. Now, Andrea says I'm a clairvoyant and I do readings from home. I'm wanting to move towards workshops and um, not sure how to attract the right clients. Now, I was going to joke about this, Andrea, being a clairvoyant, can you not... <laughs> Can you not foresee what your clients want and then just go there and hang around there? Okay, you want to have a chat with me a little bit um, later on. The thing is, people do not know what you do. Being a clairvoyant, what are you helping them achieve? What are you bringing them closer to? What are you helping them remember, etc., etc.? So you need to put out that information so that people get to know, like, and trust you. People get to. Uh, pretty much um, figure out how you can actually help them and you need to actually help people by helping them actually helping them all right i'll show you exactly how it all works out andrea um you know in um in in, in in the way that i do business all right i bring people into my world and then i ask them questions and actually by answering them i'm actually giving them hints and tips of how they can actually start their own business now with clairvoyance you need to be specific as to who you need to help why you need to help them and why should they should care to use your service i'm happy to have a chat with you after this if you're done um if you're if you're ready okay so some people maybe like yourself as a clever and would maybe print flyers or send out emails or or send out um you know brochures or something like that or you've blasted all your social media followers but you still are not sort of getting that client flow or the leads that you actually want all right and that's a big problem for a lot of people you are actually not getting the right kind of customer with the right kind of pain you know why because you are not specific as to what do you do and what should the person actually care you want to grow your business and you really want to reach out to the people you can see they need your help but they cannot understand because there's a communication barrier first of all maybe it's the money second of all maybe it's the communication and third of all maybe they just don't get what you're saying and if you were watching yesterday's video i was also telling you how people go through different stages in their buying cycle all right so sometimes some people are ready to buy today sometimes some people will buy next week they just need to know who you are like you etc etc okay and in my business i generate close to a hundred leads every single day all right. This is coming in from my podcast. This is coming in from this Facebook live. This is coming in from um, the videos that I do. This is coming in from groups. This is coming in from blogs. This is coming in from all those other things that I'm doing so that let me just um, let you know what it is that um, I do in the meantime. All right. So 
Andrea says, I can't seem to craft consistent money flow. However, I'm doing 5 to 12 client readings a week. Andrea, I think what you need is a continuity program, okay? Because maybe your reading is just maybe $60 and then that person is done. Why don't you talk to me after this video so we can create a program that once somebody has found out what those readings are, you can then help them with their mindset. You can then help them go away from that pain and then they can actually get a result which your readings say. Because I think right now you're just scrapping the surface with your service, all right? Uh, book a time, send me a message and let's uh, watch this video up until the end. You might get a, 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 an idea or two, all right? I've got you, just hold on there, all right? So... There's one thing that I did in the last month. I wrote an ebook. All right, here you go, the online prosperity uh, blueprint. If you want this ebook, it's basically what I talk about 24 seven is how to actually get clients. I've put it on Amazon and it's gotten so many really good reviews and so many people have purchased it. I think it's selling for like $2 or something ridiculous like that, okay? So if you write an ebook, you're opening yourself up to, you know, you know, people that are too busy to be on Facebook, all right? You're opening yourself up to people that are in another whole different level. Some people enjoy um, getting content by reading. Some people enjoy getting content while they actually search for it. So if you put your ebook, you write it out, um, and then, and then and then you put it on the Amazon market, Amazon will distribute that for you. And I'm constantly getting leads just coming in from this uh, simple book that I wrote, okay? And you might think, oh, I'm not a good writer. Oh, I don't even know how to do this. Um, put out, write a really long form blog. When you write out that blog, turn that blog into a PDF. When you put that PDF, um, when you have that PDF, upload that PDF onto the Amazon network, all right? Automatically, you've got a book that somebody can actually download and you can use that as a lead magnet, all right? Now, people already know in that book, you should write what you do, how you do it, and how people can contact you. Now, all those people now have info, they're reading your stuff, they're trusting you, and like I always say, guys, people need to see your stuff at least six times. All right, and they say a picture is worth a thousand, um, a thousand words. So if one book can, you know, really put out your message like that, it will help you. All right, so you know, ebooks will actually work if you're also working in the B two B space. All right, because businesses are busy to be on Facebook to watch lives like this. But then, if they can get a book, they can download. If you want this, right? Type in Blueprint. By the way, just type in Blueprint. Type in B L U. E P R I N T. Type blueprint and I'll get you a copy of it. All right. So, you know, it, it might have all the technical knowledge, you know, the know how, the how to's, or how you actually do your business because people don't understand. People might not understand my accent or people might not understand or really because my energy is probably a, a little bit too much for them. So they might not really get it all right so you know if you write it down they then interpret it in their own way and people love to read and gain experience and share things around in their industry you know and they can actually start promoting your book to their other peers okay because people like to be known um as um as as as, as people that are in the know you know people that know what they're doing and talking about etc etc okay all right, so something is going on with this camera here. Just be with me. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We, you can still see me and hear me. If not, you can always watch the review. All right. So if you if you can recalibrate your blogs into a PDF and then send it out so that people can utilize it, that should work. If you are now putting that blog, put it out as well as a newsletter. All right. If you don't have a newsletter yet, make sure you're collecting people's email addresses so that you can utilize those. Hold on. Something is weird here. So that you can uh, utilize those. Let's see if this works. Yeah, okay. Anyway, so that you can utilize those um, uh, for you to get the... Um, the kind of clients that you 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 want people that already know your stuff etc etc okay now at the end of the day guys I don't want to lie to you guys every single point every single thing that you're doing within your business is bringing you closer is bringing you closer yeah 
see. Okay, that's where the light should be. I don't know. Okay, I'm now very distracted about these lights and I don't know why they're not working. Anyway, anything that you're putting out to your business is going to bring you a whole lot closer to, to your clients. Because like I said, people need to see you at least eight or six times so that they can actually know what it is that you're offering them. All right. So a newsletter could be one of those things, uh, putting out a blog that you can then repurpose um, into maybe a video. There's a program called Lumen5.com. Check it out. It helps you turn that blog into a video. All right. So you don't have to do all the technical stuff, etc., etc., so that you're missing out, um, you know, on, on, on creating content for your clients. All right. I don't know what's going on. All right. Can you, can you actually see my video? Because it keeps freezing. And I don't know if this is actually working. I don't want to be preaching to an empty theater. Anyway, uh, that's, that's pretty cool. So if, if you can... If you can see this, then that's all right. I'm here. I'm, I haven't gone, but it keeps freezing on me. All right. So if you've got a blog and you're writing out a blog, that would actually help you get in touch um, with your clients because some people really, really like reading. All right. I also use Facebook um, live like this. So this is what I do with this live. After I finish with this live, I download it. I download it and then post it onto YouTube. So I've already created content for YouTube for that day. And after I've created content for YouTube, um, if it's a really, really good one and it's, it's gotten a lot of traction, I get it transcribed by a website called rev.com and then they charge me about 75 uh, cents per minute and it costs me plus or minus 20 or 30 dollars to, to transcribe this into a, into a, into a blog or something of that nature. All right. So you can then chop it up whichever way you want and create more content for your clients. Always be creating and relating to the people that you want to get in touch with. All right. Because the more you are out there talking to people, the more you are out there telling people how you do your work and what it is that you can help them with, the more they're going to trust you. All right. No one is just going to jump on your ad just because you're there. All right. No one is just going to jump on your ad just because you posted a post in a group, etc., etc. All right. These are the days where you actually have to be aggressive with your marketing. All right. This is the days where you actually have to really go out there and help people that really need your service. OK, so utilize and maximize on, 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 on Facebook because it's giving us all these tools like live. If you if you're not really camera friendly, you can do the voice one, although it's not available in Australia, but you can still utilize that voice beat to reach and create for your clients. These days, if you're not getting leads, if you're not getting clients, it's only because you are totally lazy. Or you're not doing things that you're supposed to be doing. Most of us are really busy in work doing the cosmetic stuff, but not really reaching out to the clients. Because let me tell you something. You take four or five years trying to build a brand and it takes three seconds for somebody to just swipe your ad. All right. So you, you get too romantic about everything looking perfect or whatever. But then your clients don't even get to see most of that stuff. Always be reaching out to a lot of people. I don't know if you can see there uh, on my on my um, on my uh, door there. I wrote out a funnel. I have to constantly be feeding the funnel and getting people in to um, my services, so that even if even if they are not ready, then they're marinating. And when they do realize that I'm not the perfect fit for them, they go away. All right, by themselves without me having to repeat myself. So constantly be producing content so that people get to know what it is that you serve them with and how you can help them. People are really, really tired of one click wonders. All right. You, 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 you produce something today and tomorrow you're not there. People want people that are consistent. You're always there, etc., etc. My live, this video that you're watching right now, I use it as a yardstick to actually make sure that I have something to do on that particular day. Even though I have interviews, even though I speak to a lot of people every single day and I reach out to a lot of people, you know why? Because my confidence is building up every single day. I wake up and I, I dress up because I know I have to show up for this episode. I have to show up for my clients and it gives me something to look forward to. 
in our businesses, I don't want to lie. It's not every day that you've got, you know, happy days. You, you don't have things happening consistently in your business. But if you create something that you look forward to, maybe it's writing a blog or maybe taking a photo of yourself and writing a quote on it, whatever it is that you can do to create content so that you're always front of mind of the people that actually care about your work. All right? There's no way you should be saying I'm not reaching out to people or I don't have clients because you're not doing enough. What you're doing is a lot of non-work, work that is not going to lead you to anything. All right? Most of the times we are also not networking enough. We're not reaching out. I want to show you something real funny right here. Okay? Check this out. Check this out. All right? I go out, I meet people, I exchange their business cards, etc., etc. How many people are you reaching out to every single day and meeting and, 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 and relating to and showing them that you can help them with your services and then, you know, you know sit back and say, at least I've done enough. All right. So your, 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 your business, even no matter if you're an online sort of person, most of the business and most of the action in the digital world actually happens on the ground. Let's not lie to each other. Most of this action that we do, all the checks, all the transactions, they all happen on the ground. All right. So if you go to networking events, you know, especially events that don't really pertain to your business, or that don't really relate to your business. Like a lot of dentists, all right? A lot of dentists that I work, you know what I, I tell them to do? I tell them to go to real estate conventions. I tell them to go to where chiropractors are going because those same people that can afford dentures are the same people that can afford a re an investment property. Okay, so you want to see what other markets are doing, you know, are marketing to the people that you're looking for. All right. So as a as a real estate, um, you know, as, as, as a dentist, one of the uh, dentist guys that is um, making a killing one of my clients, you know what I advised him and he's doing. He goes out and offers everybody who's bought a new home free teeth cleaning. All right. Now, what does that do? Because he's partnered with a real estate agent. So that real estate agent sends that guy and says, hey, this guy's just bought a new home in your area. So, you know, if you want, let's let's deal. And then he goes and he offers them free teeth cleaning. Now, when you go there to get your teeth cleaned, he then tells you, oh, you need dentures. Oh, you need a filling. Oh, you need cosmetic surgery, etc., etc." And then pretty much before you know it, you're already paying 20 grand to a dentist just because he He's connected to a person who is advertising to people that want and need his services. All right. Nobody's going to want to, you know, just swipe your ad and say, oh, yeah, I think I need dentures. They don't know that. People don't know that they need Invisalign. But how are you going to know what these people's financial position is if you don't talk to other people that are already grabbing their money? So you need to go out and network, guys. You need to really go out there and talk to people that are already doing and speaking to the people in your uh, sort of niche and people that are already doing the stuff that you, um, you know, dealing with the clients that you would want. All right. You can then cross pollinate your services, etc., etc., depending on how you do it. Recently, you know, my service, my service as an SEO expert, if I go out there and start telling people, hey, I'm an SEO guy. They they, 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 they drop the phone. But if I'm working with a website designer who already has taken their money, who already has the trust of that person because they've created that website, all I'm doing is just getting a warm lead. That warm lead is then going to be my client for life. You know why? Because I'm going to build them. All right. So we, I don't think we're doing enough, guys. So this is, this is essentially what I do in my business. I literally have become the brand that's representing Live Long Digital and I'm not shy to go out there and actually demand the money that's going to put my kid through to college. All right? Because all of these people have my money and I just got to go and pick it up from them. All right? So the more you're being shy and the more you 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 holding yourself back from reaching out to people, you are only doing yourself, your family a disservice. Because they're going to need that money. They're going to need that time that you're not giving them by you not showing up to family events and just lying to yourself on the internet then. All right? Unless you don't have a business, which is what most of you do anyway. And then just pretend that you're running a business. If you're actually running a business, I want you to type in 
I'm serious now and we get on a call so I can give you a one on one and see exactly where you stand. Alright, I'm happy to have no people watching these videos instead of people just maybe getting high on motivation and then eventually just go off and do shit. Alright, so you know, you, you, there's so many things that you can do to garner a lot of business and also um, sometimes you might not get the right kind of people, um, you know, coming through your, your, your lead funnel. So there's certain things as well that you got to do to just, um, you know, to get rid of those tire kickers and make sure that you're getting the cream of the cream and people that actually need your time, your, 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 your services, etc. How many times have you gotten, uh, to, you know, a stage of having a call with somebody and you find out they don't have money or, you know, they're not ready to buy or their pain is not as big, um, you know, as you would have anticipated, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So things like content, all right, I'll show you a little bit. So things like, um, content will actually engage them. All right. And then educate them of what your product provides. And then it inspires them while you're providing them value and it's positioning you as the person who can save them and help them from the problem that they're going through at that particular moment. All right. So you want to make sure that you're putting out massive amounts of content and don't go back looking at that content, um, you know, thinking that people are going to like it or whatever. No, people are busy. People are busy doing stuff, but give them an opportunity to read and consume your stuff. And once they've consumed it, pixel that content and then retarget those people with ads. All right. Don't just throw ads when you haven't provided value at all. All right. So, you know, so, sometimes, you know, some markets, you know, consist of people that actually don't have money. I know a lot of coaches are not making money. A lot of consultants are not making any money. You know why? Because the people that they're trying to reach out to are not, they don't even have money as well. All right. So a market itself is really defined by a lot of people that are not ready to buy then. All right. I know a lot of people that watch my stuff are broke. They're really trying to get something. And if you're looking for a shiny object, I'm sorry, I'm not the guy for you. I give out strategy that would then help you, you know, make a business that's profitable and enjoyable. All right. But it doesn't mean that you cannot start putting in these strategies in place for when the money comes in, because what you do when you're broke will constitute what you will do when you actually have the cash. All right. So if you're nasty and if you're arrogant and if you're not a nice person while you're broke, can you imagine what you will be when you actually start getting the money coming in? And most of the time, we are really quick to want to just, you know, get people to want our stuff when they're not really ready. And that's the reason why we're attracting people that don't even have money. All right. So at the end of the day, people who do not have money are usually way easier to sell to because all they say is yes, but then they don't show up when the time comes. All right. So you want to make sure that your content is sifting through all those people. You automatically are not wasting time with those that are not ready and just keep pumping out stuff so that they're learning about you. They learn if you're the person to actually help them with that problem, et cetera, et cetera. You know, and sometimes some people are not, they don't have what I call a bleeding neck or they don't have an urgency or they don't need your services as soon as possible. Make them want it. All right. When you figure out they've got the money, make sure your content keeps driving them and urging them towards, you know, um, paying for it. All right. So you need to figure out how are you putting out your, your content out there? How are you relating to the people that you're reaching out to? Every single day, this is what I do. Every single day, I reach out to at least 10 different people. That's why my profile has become the networking hub where people can actually find business. And I know there's people that are poaching clients from my, my, um, my newsfeed. It doesn't matter. I know if I can provide that for you, then that means more comes for me. All right. So in the meantime, you might be really wondering why you're not getting customers. Sometimes, sometimes we are not actually telling our customers what we do and why they should care because people would actually buy your own unique selling position. What is it that makes you different from Joe Block, who's just three uh, profiles down the, the, the newsfeed? 
Okay, so if you're going to be going into a marketplace, the question is, what is the biggest benefit that the prospect will get by buying stuff from you? You need to make sure they know that. All right, what kind of deal will you be? Will they be snatching up from you that they cannot get anywhere else? What sort of benefit do they want that other guys are not promising? You need to figure out all those things. That's when you really get to know who your customer is. Figure out how you can solve them. Figure out if your product is actually the right fit for it. All right, all of that stuff is talked about in in the online prosperity blueprint. That's why this is slowly becoming the holy grail of everything marketing okay the propriety online prosperity blueprint if you haven't gotten your hands on it guys either get the copy or get the pdf version of it okay in the meantime i really hope you're gonna oh somebody tell me this was upside down huh? in the meantime i really hope you're gonna have a fantastic day and you're gonna have you know cash flow coming in and clients that you actually really want to work with okay the whole premise of this video was to help you show you what I'm doing behind the scenes so that you can emulate that. And if I can work with you, send me a message after this video so that we can talk about where you are, where you want to be, and then we bridge that gap of mediocrity. Okay? In the meantime, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Bye for now.